air signs. It's Nicola. So let's see the messages we have. Let me make sure my mic is here. Let's see what messages we have. This is for March 18th, 2020. Let's see what messages we have for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. What guidance do we have for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Messages, guidance for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages, what guidance do we have for Gemini? All right, Gemini. We have two. So the first one we have is God of the Arts. It says the artist within you is about to emerge. We also have Angel of Diet and Nutrition. It says pay attention to what you eat and drink. You intuitively know what is good for you. Okay. Let's see what messages we have for Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages for guidance? All right, Libra. We have Angel of the Universe. It says you are being encouraged to expand your thinking. All right. So let's see what messages we have. For Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Messages guidance for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. We have Goddess of Beauty. It says, You are a wondrous being of light. There is nothing to change or to fix. The underlying message for my air signs, we have Goddess of the Unknown. It says, A new chapter of your life is around the corner. Remove fear and embrace the unknown. So let's see what messages we have. What messages do we have? This is for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages, what guidance do we have for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for March 18th, 2020. Right? Make sure you got the right date. Yeah, this is for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages, what guidance do we have? For Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for March 18th, 2020. Messages, guidance for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So we have the Seven of Swords under here. Okay, so Seven of Swords is someone, you see this cat, they're hiding their eye. They're being kind of slick. Someone could be in a space of being kind of slick. You could know the truth about that. Could know the truth about some deception. That could be clarity around some instabilities. Hmm. So we have the Strength card here. Um, could be dealing with a Leo. You could be seeing, uh, finding the strength to go towards something. Uh, I think you're just finding your strength to escape a situation because the Seven of Swords can represent escaping as well. And we got the Strength card here with the Ten of Pentacles here. So I do feel like for some of you guys, you've reached the peak of something here. Eight of Cups could be in a space of walking away from something, really in a space of going forward, moving forward. Will of Fortune here. All right, so there are some changes that are happening. I feel like you could have some instability because of the changes, but again, moving, I said moving toward clarity, and I was, I retracted the statement because I was like, I don't see anything that says that, but I see it now. So you are moving toward clarity in your life, toward something that is going to bring happiness in your life. You're escaping. It looks like an unstable situation because you have the clarity of now of what you feel with inside of yourself. So some of you guys, you're trusting what you feel. You're trusting those those feelings, um, your intuition, and you're really escaping something that was unsteady, moving towards something it looks like wealthier for you. So we got the strength card here. Why is the strength card here? Oh shit. The strength to escape. So even seven swords here, seven pentacles. Some of you guys are escaping a stuck situation. Something y'all see my hair did what it did. Some of y'all escaping a stuck situation, something that created some anxiety. You're really finding your strength. I like this. All right. So I do feel like you've had some anxiety before, but some of you guys are walking up by faith now. You're just moving. You're just going forward. Ten Pentacles here. Why is this Ten Pentacles here? We have the Knight of Wands here. Could be in the space of moving forward fast. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you may have been in the space of making some unwise decisions, moving into some sort of commitment previously, whether it's a job or a relationship. I feel like you're escaping that because you see that it was unstable. Judgment, making the decision, 10 wands to lay down the burdens of a past situation. Eight of Cups. Some of y'all are walking away from something. Eight of Cups here. Lover's card, making a decision here. This is a good decision. Nine of Swords. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, you've had fear of walking away in the past, but I don't feel like you're, you have fear now. With the Sun card here, you'll see very clearly that it's time for you to move forward. And I feel like you're making that move. Will of Fortune. These are clear changes that are happening. I feel like you found your strength to move forward. 
So we got the Wheel of Fortune here. Why is this Wheel of Fortune? We got the Hermit here. So I do feel like for a lot of you guys, you've thought a lot about this. You could be in a space of wanting to be alone, wanting to be by yourself. That could be the change that is happening. You're wanting to invest in your own abundance now. Five cups because you're just tired of the disappointment. Some of you guys are tired of being disappointed by a situation. Something that either has to do with some deception. Maybe you found out the truth around a lie. So now you're in a space of just wanting to move away from that. Um, sun card here. Or maybe you just have clarity that you need to move forward. Two of Pentacles here. Wait a minute. So we got the hangman. I feel like your perspective around a situation has changed or your perspective has changed in general. Two of Pentacles here with the four of Pentacles. You could have been in an unstable situation. Now you're looking for a stability. You're looking for something that is a firm foundation, something that is going to keep you stable. And with the Knight of Cups, I mean the Page of Cups here, I feel like you are seeing clearly that someone could have been back. I feel like for some of you guys, you were dealing with someone that was deceptive back and forth in your life because they were holding on to you. Um... Not so much as just wanting to have you, but holding on maybe so that you couldn't move forward within your life. And I feel like you're seeing that now. So you could be escaping that, um, moving away from that, making changes, wanting to invest in yourself. Some of you guys are seeing the value of spending some time alone. All right. This is good, though. I mean, you, you found your strength to walk away from an unstable situation. You got clarity. Um, and I feel like right now... That's like the best thing to have is clarity, clear a clear head. Your perspective, your perspective around something has definitely changed. All right, so let's see what messages we have. What messages or guidance do we have? This is for March 18th, 2020. This is for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What guidance do we have for Gemini? Ooh. Gemini, we got you can do it. So really be in the space of being confident that you're making the right decision. Make sure that you are a priority and that you're handling the priorities that are necessary right now. What messages do we have for Libra? Okay. What messages do we have for Libra? Some of all right. Libra, you got yoga. So this, and you still got priorities under here. So this is about your, the priority you have is about grounding yourself, staying grounded. Yoga talks about being at peace with yourself, being grounded um, in this life and even within yourself. What messages do we have? All right, Aquarius. We got focus on your strength. So Aquarius, right now you need to be in a space of focusing on your strength. For all of my air signs, the underlying message is stay focused. So right now, stay focused. Focus on your strength. Really be in the space of moving forward away from unstable or unstable. Moving away from unstable situations. <laughs> this is all I got, y'all. Have a good day.